Welcome to another tutorial here on iIndustrial Revolution. This time we're going to look at audio and audio fades because there's a little trick that you can do with custom shortcuts that will enable you to edit a lot, lot quicker. Let me show you. Uh, you're probably very familiar with these handles here that I think are really hard to get hold of. And you drag them. So this is our demo music we have here, just as an example. But you want a nice fade in on that. It's always really hard to pick these things up, you know, either end on there. I'm always clicking on something else and moving something. Um, so there must be a better way. There is a better way. Um, there are a few tricks that you can do. We've also on our site got some um, effects that you can download for free. That you can just paste from the um, effect browser and drop those on. But there's an even better way of controlling the audio and you'll find those hidden in a menu. If you look at the modify menu, go to adjust volume down at the bottom here. If I can grab hold of it, we have four commands. So we see apply fades, remove fades, toggle fade in, toggle fade out. So apply fades. And here now we've got a couple of fades. They're not very long though. So let me undo that. And I will go over to the preferences and I'll show you why. If you have a look at the preferences, in here, under the editing tab, we've got audio fade duration. And that's at 0.5 and we want something a lot longer. So I reckon we go for something like two seconds. Now, maybe if you were doing something like trying to take the clicks off the front of voiceovers, you could put it to just one frame and then lasso them all and do it like that. But for this, oh, I'm going to put it at two seconds. So now if we go back and apply the same effect, modify, adjust volume, you have to really dig down deep for this and apply fades. We've got two nice fades, one at the front and one at the back. Great. OK, but that is a real pain having to go up there again. Let me undo that. So why not assign custom shortcuts? Because if you look here, we can see there are shortcuts for up and down, which I'm sure you're familiar with, and the great volume up and down, absolute and relative, which I use all the time. I'd probably do another tutorial on that when it comes to mixing up a big piece and you need to adjust the audio. But these four haven't got any um, haven't got any shortcuts, so let's assign them. So we need to go into the commands and customize a set. So here we go. This is the default set and you can't actually save that. So you need to go default and let's say duplicate. And we'll call this audio fades. I'm going to tap fade into the search box. And you'll notice our four commands come up and I'm going to put those on the function keys. So audio toggle fade in, I'm going to put on F1. Toggle fade out, I'm going to put on F2. As you can see, they're reflected in here on the keys. Then apply audio fades, that's the both ends on three. And remove audio fades on four. And then hit save. There we go. I've got to close that. Right, and let's go back and look at the menu, the modify menu, just volume. And now we can see we've assigned the audio fades to the function keys. Right, now let's go back to here. So this should be, F1 should be one click, apply at the front, F2, apply at the back. Now F4 is remove, and F3 is apply. So there we have four really handy shortcuts to make life a lot easier. And then obviously you can pick these up afterwards. Now, Apple being Apple, they tend to do things. If you can do it on one, you can do them all. I have some other clips here as well. So what happens if you want to do clips on all of them? We can lasso them and just go F3 and you'll have audio fades on all of them. How easy is that? I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. It does help if you subscribe and like or leave a comment below if you want to have a chat about what I've just done or want to ask any questions. And we'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye.